okay after we have set up everything we need uh, let's create a shops table where we will store all the locations all these shops location which we want to pull in uh, when user types in certain location so in order to create that let's go to terminal and create a shops table make model shop I'll create model controller and resourceful controller with single command hit enter I think I already got those so uh, let's go to the migration create shops table okay so this is the schema uh, we have uh, ID name of shop description address city state zip so these are just optional I just put them if we need in case in the future so main thing is latitude and longitude which will have uh, which is float uh, with 10 digit and 6 after decimal okay after uh, it uh, you can migrate uh, but I want to create a seed for it so that we can populate this table with a lot of data because we will need a lot of data so in order to do that first we'll create PSC artisan make cedar and I'll name it sop stable sop table cedar okay once that is created so as you can see I've included the factory I've created a uh, 2000 records using factory so uh, after uh, that we'll need a factory so PSC artisan make factory and name of factory will be soft factory okay so let's go to the soft factory so here I've uh, created uh, I populated all field with the name company name some text and city state postcode address and latitude and longitude I have included the range of USA so uh, USA extends from this 19.5 to this and longitude value this so it will fill up this uh, with the random data using faker library okay so after table uh, migration and seed seeder in place uh, so we have included uh, we have included this factory in soft stable seeder let's go to database table seeder database seeder so inside database seeder uh, I've included this soft table seeder to run this all right so after that we can do PSP artisan migrate and then migrate with all seeds so this will create the soft table with all uh, these data okay after that is done we should have these data in our soft table okay okay after table is created uh, we'll create a component this search component where uh, we'll uh, search for any location currently it will it won't show anything so the this package comes with that autocomplete library uh, which we can utilize so you can see that in demo so we we want this autocomplete feature so if you see page source we just need this Google map autocomplete so we just need this component so let's go to the our uh, main parent component which is shop layout everything will be inside this and we want to replace our this heading with our autocomplete so this is the text field default text field so we need to replace that with this one okay let's refresh so as you can see uh, it does all auto complete but uh, it doesn't come with the styling since it is provided by Google we need to provide our custom CSS so what I will do is since we need uh, one more field to uh, look for miles or a radius so I will create these two fields as a one component called place search so let's define that component inside app.js so here I've defined that uh, place search and 
and inside here uh, we have that exact same thing Google map autocomplete uh, so I've wrapped this inside some styling so some beautify classes so also I've included another select field so for some reason this beautify v select doesn't work as expected so I think there is a bug in this select field and yeah so in flash search we have these two input field one for autocomplete and one for select so don't worry about other logic we'll go through it in a moment so first let's include that in site our swap layout so now this whole thing will be replaced by place search now let's refresh okay there we go little bit better so now uh, when user hits uh, this we want to fetch uh, data from backend we want to fetch some um, fetch all the related markers around this location uh, that comes under this uh, radius so in order to do that let's go to our place search component okay let's go to place search component and inside this autocomplete so when someone uh, search for uh, location and uh, hits uh, clicks on that location it will trigger this place changed event and on that event we are uh, triggering this get place function or we can call it get sops get related sops so uh, this function is uh, so uh, this function we have this parameter place which user selects and we will get the let and uh, longitude value of the location which uh, user types typed in so when someone hits this we'll get uh, let and longitude value of this california and then we'll set that as a center and after that we'll fetch the nearest location so main thing is happening inside this method uh, fetch nearest location so we are sending the request to this endpoint uh, nearest of to our backend with the center or with the location that user selects and the radius which user uh, selects and uh, in response data we are emitting markers first event and all other component will listen to this uh, event uh, with the data so uh, this is uh, the part uh, which we are doing in uh, this place search component and now let's uh, switch back to our uh, backend code to know the structure of this data so I've defined this API route uh, we can do that in web but yeah it's just easy to taste so let's go to api.php and here is all logic happening so so we get center uh, as a request so we are passing that as center and radius so we got that center and from there we fetch the let and longitude value also we get radius if radius doesn't present present we'll just do this okay so uh, the main div uh, query is this to calculate the radius sorry to calculate the nearest uh, swaps so this is some formula which calculates the uh, distance and according to this uh, let and longitude value it will calculate all all the markers all the uh, related mar markers which we defined in our database so yeah you can check out uh, uh, so if you want uh, to learn more about this function you can go to Google so I'll provide this link uh, you can find that uh, here so uh, this talks about this formula which calculates the location finding the location so I've just modified it to make it uh, compatible with Laravel so we have used this raw query and yeah we are fetching that from our swaps table okay so uh, we are just formatting this marker since uh, our front end accept, accepts uh, this format so basically we are uh, formatting the uh, results returned by this function 
to make this position and name of item that's it for now and we're just passing this data as a response so nothing much going on here so after that result uh, returned by that function we are just passing that result this whole data thing this everything we are passing okay so now uh, next uh, this map will listen to this event and uh, populate the marker so let's go to map component swap map that we created in last video so this is center and this is a default center and all default markers for now now we'll listen for that and populate it here so let me quickly paste the code and let me explain okay just ignore commented code for now so uh, when this component is created we are listening for that marker fast event that imitated by this place search which got every every data all data so now only thing we need is just uh, analyze this data and populate the marker so on marker fast uh, we are just assigning all markers to our markers object inside data this one so now we'll have all markers and that will be displayed on map and we are also setting the center of uh, map to one of the marker this is optional you can do it but yeah so we are checking if uh, this got marker and if there is marker we are setting the center so this is all we need to uh, populate the marker that is fast from database very simple stuff so view makes it very easy with this google map plugin also if you need a uh, uh, location on load if you need some marker when as soon as the map loads you can you can uh, call this fast location method this is uh, completely optional so uh, this option is just pulling in all the markers on initial load so as soon as map loads it will just uh, uh, send some data with this default center and fast the marker around that location yeah this is all we need to display the marker yeah there you go so if we type california yeah it displays also radius works so now only part remaining is displaying uh, results here and showing that uh, info window so let's handle that next so in same component swap map uh, we'll add one more component provided by that same package gmap info window so it accept these options info window options like uh, styling position of this info window so where we need to display whether we need to display above this marker or this marker so we need this position info also when uh, this info window is opened uh, we'll handle that here like uh, whether it should be open or not it will decide so true false similarly uh, at close click when someone clicks on close trigger this and we are displaying this info content so now let's define these um, uh, data these uh, okay now let's define these uh, these properties down here so info content will be null by default and position will also be nothing and by default info window will be closed and then so option is the height is 35 and with so basic stuff and uh, next uh, when next we need to uh, define the toggle info window method so I've taken it from uh, the documentation let me uh, quickly go through it so uh, toggle info window will just on and off the window which uh, this is the marker so of which marker you want to open the window and the index of marker the two stuff we need so we'll uh, set the position of info window to marker position and then info content will be the content which we are passing from backend so in our case 
we are passing the position and name so we are displaying that and similarly to toggle, uh, toggle if same uh, marker is clicked or not and if not this basic logic okay so now we have a uh, code in place to toggle the info window next we need to uh, create a component to display the results so now it's time to define the results component and this component inside this component will have actually uh, the result component will be let's go to first layout actually we need to go to shop layout which is the parent component and um, we can replace so we can replace all this navigation drawer thing yeah let's cut out this whole thing navigation drawer tag just cut out uh, this thing and just make it results and put this whole thing inside this results navigation drawer just paste that here okay so everything will be same uh, you can uh, rename it as a results i rename uh, rename it results and i've just cleaned up a few things so we only need item and this results is empty by default which will populate in a moment okay basically enough so this uh, function will also listen for that marker fast event imitated by place search so two two uh, two components are listening for that event swap map and results and we uh, we already have access to data so we will populate these results with the results this results so I formatted results like this text and yeah so that is getting populated here as a text and all result will be displayed automatically so you can test that there we go also uh, now we need to when someone clicks on any of these results we need to open this window so in order to do that uh, I have um, make this uh, click event focus marker I'm passing the index of the marker so this result and marker uh, index will be same since they are loading at the same time from backend so both index will match every time and I'm passing the index which will be the marker index and inside this focus marker I'm just emitting an event marker result clicked with the index so uh, the component which will listen for this uh, event is of course the map component so this map component is also listening for this event there we go so on clicked this index we are passing so the target marker will be uh, the marker from the markers array which already got populated this marker and uh, we are setting the center to the target markers position so that it will be easy, easier to view and then we are uh, toggling the info window so yeah this method we just created which will toggle the info window so that's it so that's all we need to do to achieve that there we go So this marker you can also verify by clicking on, on that but at the moment I think that is not working because I have so if you want to create uh, that so if, if you want to make uh, this when someone clicks on marker just register a uh, click event click event and call uh, toggle info window and then we need to pass the marker marker m and the index of marker so there we go okay so this is the basic store locator application